and I've gone into the effects menu, generate tones. And I really want to know what okay. your favorite tone is so we can generate it. Oh, so can we do and it at 44 hertz? 44 is my favorite 44 number. 44 oh, hertz, do- you will not be able to hear. Look, Aww. this is the tone generator in Adobe Audition. Let's try and play 44 hertz. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh. I'm going to try 2,000 hertz. I think that's quite a, a bit quite bit high. higher up. So it's time. Yeah. To, oh, ee. yeah, that's a bit. That's like oh. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. And then 3,000 hertz. That's like just insanely crazy. Let's go yeah. for 3,000 and see what that's like. Oh, wow. is that too loud? But the coolest thing is, did you know with yeah. generate tones in audition, you can actually sweep the frequencies. Okay. So we could go. We could go from like 44, 44. Up to uh, the end. 432. Four, well, not 432. I was thinking even more. 44444. Four, 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 four. Okay. Uh, and let's play that one. Ooh, Ooh, this is getting interesting. Seriously, that's so cool, isn't it? And we can we can speed that up if we like, so we can make the duration shorter. Ooh. And this is, this is the start of sound design, really. If you wanted to make cool okay. laser beams... Yeah. That's like so cool. I don't know if you ever play with this, but it's a, it's a cool feature of Audition. What you can do is you can actually change the modulation depth. And look what happens if I do something like this. It's like an alarm, isn't it? This is really cool, actually. I really like it. And then, but actually, if I if I go down to 0. 0.5 like that, uh, this is like it's like a rave, isn't it? So you can do stuff like that. Plus, you can also use different frequency components here. That's why I'm basically doing a tutorial. We should clip this into its own video, Isabella. I'm talking about this for ages. We should definitely be doing that. Uh, because Rob, then Rob says it's you like should a frequency warn sensitive tutorial. people. Click quick warning. The sounds generated may be quite sensitive, sensitive for, you. for you. Let's play this. Turn the volume down. So, uh, but I'm, I'm not going to go to stupidly high frequencies because that would be, yeah. yeah that's unkind. That would be too those much. those listening on a podcast. Yeah. And then you've got some cool presets in here. So you can do like a uh, linear organ. sweep. Oh, sorry. That is a bit weird. That's a bit much. Church organ. Let's try that. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And then we've got uh, out of minor control. to major. Out of control. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's cool. And we can make that longer if you want. If you really like the sound of that, we can make it last a bit longer. It's a bit Pink Floyd-esque, isn't it, that? Yes, we're summary. Yes. But that's the coolest thing. So if I go back to the default yeah. and we keep it at 440 hertz, you can change the shape from sine. I quite like square because it kind of gives it a bit of edge. Or triangle sawtooth. Uh, square is the best, though, because that's the harshest. And you can change the shape of that square. And then you can also modulate it a little bit. It's a bit... And you can sweep the frequencies, so we can go... Yeah, like, I think it, it really the only way to do it is to sweep the frequencies. Otherwise, it is really hurting your ears. It's just a continuous yeah, hurting tone. Yeah, no, it's just tone. not cool. Oh, that's cool. I really like that. That's the favourite thing that I've generated so far in sweep frequencies. I, I know, we will make it an alien alarm. It's like every time yes. you see... <laughs> <laughs> but this is the coolest thing. Yeah. Um, people are loving this, by the way, in the chat. So yeah. great to see your comments. We do watch them. I can actually generate this like that. So that's what it looks like as a tone in Audition. Yeah. Make it a little bit louder, perhaps. Just like big it up a bit. Okay. And then we can do all kinds of things if we go into multitrack. Let's not use my presets, but let's just empty, uh, empty this out. And we can do all kinds of... So in multitrack now, I can layer up effects on it. So if I wanted to, I could, first of all, I'd probably go in and, oh, well, why not? So I could distort it out a little bit. Fan it. And this is kind of what um, trance DJs do, you know, like Tiesto, Armin van Buren. They'd get their doors out. some reverb on. Uh, Yeah, I'm saving the best till last. I might modulate it. I might flange it a bit. If you're listening in stereo, that's going to sound epic. Isn't that cool? So yeah. flanging helps. This is literally what the dance EDM producers do to make their their yeah. tunes sound really fat. Heavy flange. Oh, that's really cool. Isn't it cool? That is actually and, really cool. And you right? know, you can just layer up as much stuff as you want on here. Seriously, as I'm not not joking you when I think we should clip this into its own little tutorial that we put on the channel. Studio reverb's quite a good one. Uh, vocal reverb large. 
Uh, it's kind of taking away some of the dry elements, so let's put that back in. Can you hear that reverb? Yeah. And then and if we entitled the video "How to Summon Aliens." How to summon the aliens with sacred frequencies. Let's. Uh, oh, look at that! And I can also scrub. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> nice. Yeah. What do you think is? It's really cool. Okay. <laughs> Loving the tip says uh, new days. Thank you. Let's uh, let's make this shorter by time stretching it. Awesome. And uh, we can also copy it up like that, so we can multiply it a few times. We can oh, we should use layer it to be. And if we wanted to, we could like disjoint it like this, kind of a little bit, and see what we get there. Oh, I love that. So all kinds of cool stuff you can do with this. Oh, you need to finish with a bang somehow. I don't know how you're going to do it, but come on. With a bang? Oh, my finish goodness. Finish with a bang so that you can then mix it down to like a full on sweeper thingy. Well, this is, you realise, Isabella, this is how sound effects are created. This is what sound exactly. designers do. So, so, you know, all of our sound effects, of course, you can you can buy if you want to mrc.fm forward slash sfx if you just want to get a pack of sound effects to produce jingles. But if you want to make your own, this is kind of how you'd start. Absolutely. And do you know what's the best thing? Mm. You don't need any plugins. No, exactly. This you is do all done. You don't need any plugins. In native yep. Adobe Audition, which is great. Yep. Adobe, I rave about Adobe Audition. A lot of people ask me, why do you use Adobe Audition, Mike? This it's is one of the everything. reasons. It's yeah. so, so fantastic. Um, I guess the final thing, what I'd do is I'd get yeah. rid of all the unused tracks and I'd go to my master mix and I'd probably just fatten it out by adding on a load of compression. So mm -hmm. let's put on this dynamics, make it the default, compressor. <laughs> Let's fatten this up a bit. And then make it louder. And see, you can you can do all kinds of stuff. Well, I guess the another way to kind of finish with a bang is just to show you uh that another thing I can generate here is um again, it's effects generate noise. And we could take something like that and we could like pitch it a little bit, uh, pitch bender. And take a little bit of that and go into the multi-track. Oh, you are so good at this, honestly. And I can see people are absolutely like, whoa, this now, is awesome I'm in the comments. Add a stereo track and I'm going to insert this over here and I'm going to go into the mixer. And did you know you can you can copy over effects okay. to the, another track by going to the mixer view and just dragging and oh, dropping that's them? that's so cool. People sometimes ask me, how do you do that? It is actually possible. Uh, you just do it like that. And then we've got this over here. It's too long, though. It's too long, yeah. So I'm going to actually snip that, do that. Yeah. So we could have something like this. Oh, or, this is epic. Actually, let's just take that, all right? And no, no, this. no, the whole thing is cool. Oh, you want the whole thing? The whole thing is absolutely Seriously? awesome. Okay. It's brilliant. I'm not sure about that. No, that, no. you've got to leave it. Is it okay? Yeah. 